Today we're taking a look at the Core Essentials Battle Belt. You may recognize Core Essentials from their EDC belts, which I have here. I've been using this one for about a year now, uh, and I like it. It's a really good rigid belt. I like the fact that it has a ratchet system, which is also incorporated into their battle belt, which I think is one of the more unique and probably cooler features of this belt that really sets it apart from others. You are able to ratchet this and make a much more precise spot where you would like it on your body. And another nice thing is the fact that if you want it to be loosened, if you're out for a longer period of time or you eat afterwards and you wanna drop a couple, you can click the button and then drop it back two, three, four, whatever it takes to make it a little bit more comfortable. And you can bring it back in and then tighten it back up and you can just make those fine adjustments, which I think is really cool. I think a lot of you will be able to appreciate that. Uh, for me, when I wear my duty belt for work, I wear from eight to 12 hours a shift and it's really annoying because I can't adjust it easily. So something like this is really neat to be able to adjust it. And I think that's a cool feature that I would like to see in other belts. Before we get too far into the video, let's go over my relationship with Core Essentials. They did send me this belt and I did not spend my own money on it and this video is brought to you by them. I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Bullet Safe. This is the VP3 concealable body armor. This is bulletproof and stab proof. It has these pockets in here as well that you can add hard armor if you would like to for more protection depending what you're doing. The VP3 is what I wear when I'm wearing plain clothes or if I get called into work and I don't have to wear my uniform. It's nice because I could throw it over my shirt or I could wear it under it and make it concealable depending on what I'm doing. But they're lightweight, come Comfortable and I can wear it for a long period of time and it doesn't drive me insane. Has a lot of adjustment, which you can use code ADVISOR10 to save 10% on your own order of your own body armor. They have hard armor, they have a lot of other options. This is just the one that I'm showing off right now because this is the one I personally use uh, the most. So this is the one I'm also gonna test. So I just wanted to at least let you guys know about this one. So the VP3, so let's first go over what comes in the package when you get it. So you get your belt and this comes from a 24 inch to a 48 inch in size. It's one size fits all. You have to make the cut yourself to adjust it. I know that can be intimidating to have to do that yourself, uh, but it does make it nice because you can just adjust it to exactly what you want. You also get an inner belt as well. So this is going to be a Velcro line belt. And then on that inside of this belt is the Velcro as well. So you can attach to it and that just helps with lock up and be able to keep this tight to your body without having to worry about it coming off when you're drawing your firearm or if you're grabbing stuff or if you're on the ground fighting with somebody, you don't have to worry about your belt coming off and your tools not being where you want them to be. Uh, so having that inner belt is a good idea. So really Real quickly, let's, let's talk about that. I have been testing this without belt keepers. I highly recommend you always use belt keepers just as a fail safe. If something were to happen again, if you're fighting with somebody and this thing gets pushed up or down, your gear is not gonna be where you want it or where your muscle memory is gonna go for the item. So wearing belt keepers is always a great idea, but with this one, I wanted to test it without them just to see how locked up it was with the inner belt. And I will say this thing was really, really locked up. I've never had any issues drawing or uh, any issues of it sagging on me and me having to pull it back up and reattach it. It's a brand new belt. I've had it for about a month now. I've been testing it. So we'll see how the lockup continues to stay the longer that I test this. But so far it is a really good lockup between the two. So you get these two items and then you get your, uh, belt keeper, I guess you could call this. It's, it's not a, it's a belt keeper. It keeps the uh, tab from sticking up and being out of the way like this. So you're able to just throw that on and then it keeps it from flopping around. And then you get to choose your belt style you want. So I'll show you some B-roll here of me adjusting it. It comes with everything you're gonna need to size this. It just basically says, okay, what's your waistline? And then it gives you a ruler that tells you exactly where to cut. So it makes it fairly foolproof. Again, I know it's intimidating. I hate when something comes and it's like, oh, you have to do everything yourself. It's like, gosh, dang it. I just wanna buy this and throw it on. But it does make it in the end nicer because you get to really fine tune this to exactly what you want. So uh, you make the cuts. It is very difficult to cut. I ended up using uh, like EMS medical scissors because those are supposed to cut through pennies uh, and it wasn't really a ton easier. It was still annoying, but uh, it's worth it in the end. And it's nice to see that the material they use is super heavy duty uh, because it took forever to finally cut through these things. And it is really rigid as you can tell. So it's not floppy like some belts. So this replaced my old belt. I used to have uh, more duty style belt and I uh, used that for six years and it it was it was well past its time to be replaced. Uh, so really happy to replace it with this and try this out. So let's go over the belt itself first and then we'll go over the inner belt and then some thoughts from there. As you guys know, I kind of bounce around everywhere because I talk about one thing and then it makes me think about something and I go on a tangent there. Uh, but bear with me, I appreciate you. So the belt, 
Uh, it's a very nice setup. It's $140, and uh, the ratchet system is really such a cool feature. And I want to touch on this again because I think it's a really important feature uh, that I think a lot of guys are going to be interested in. The fact that depending who you are and how long you go out in the range, maybe if you go out for like an hour at a time, it's not that big of a deal to you. But if you wear a duty belt for a really long period of time, you know that it can get uncomfortable after a while, or depending on what kind of drills you're doing. So the ability to just click this button and drop one or two notches and be able to just get a little relief is so nice, especially if you guys take like a lunch break or something, and you're just like gonna take a little bit of a break, click those down a little bit, let it loosen, and then you can tighten it back up. And not only just for that, but everybody's waistline adjusts. Uh, mine gets smaller somehow. <laughs> So sometimes I want it to be a little tighter and then sometimes I'm like, okay, uh, I actually gained a pound this week. So uh, you can make it a little bit bigger. So I really just want to elaborate on that because I do think that's a really cool feature. So now for the belt itself, you can use your slide on attachments or you can actually use Molly. So these here are attached through Molly. So you got little slots right here. So it's kind of a mix between uh, the battle belt and a duty belt, which is neat. So a duty belt is uh, actually right here. So this is my work belt and it's just something you slide on. There's no Molly. This is more what your law enforcement uses. This is what I've been using for years. And um, this is what my belt actually was before. It was the exact same style. I think it's like Uncle Mike's or something like that. Uh, but I used that for a long, long time until it just finally gave out and I upgraded to this one. But this is what they mean when they talk about a duty belt. It does not have another way to attach things other than to slide them on. Now you have your battle belts that usually have Molly attachments. You just attach your Molly to everything. I think this is somewhere in between personally. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think this is kind of a hybrid between the two. You can slide your attachments on like my holster slid on, or you can use Molly like my mag pouches are on. So I like that because uh, for things like my holster, I have a lot of these Safari Land holster uh, attachments. So it's just easy to throw that on real quickly. And then I have also some Molly attachments uh, like these, and I was able to just loop those in and it holds much tighter than what it would be if you just slide it on because if you slide it on on my old belt all this stuff would slide around and rotate uh because these are a little looser fitting my mag pouches weren't too big of a deal but these would always slide around uh so i actually need to get two more mag pouches I, it's just really hard to find these tasmanian devil mag pouches i don't know if they just stopped making them but i had these so i threw them on i like them but i can't find any more to buy so if you guys know where to buy these please help me out and let me know uh, but i want to get a pistol mount and a mag pouch and another rifle mag pouch because uh, i think they look nice they work good um but i just couldn't find any more to add on so this is where we're at right now but uh, i really do like the feature that you can do that you can slide everything on and never use the molly or you can molly everything and never do the slide on it's just going to be a personal preference on what you want to do so i never really personally got into battle belts and the reason being is because i carry this every day i want to have what is familiar and what i'm used to so i set these up basically in the exact same way my pouches are on the same obviously this one has an ar-15 pouch this one does not um so i tried to keep everything you know my tourniquets in the same spot my mag pouch is in the fairly the same spot my holsters and then uh, obviously I'm not going to carry a taser and everything on this so there's some things that are different but for the most part I try to keep them identical so when I'm uh, training at the range and when I'm at work everything's kind of the same and where I want it so that's why I kind of stayed away from battle belts but I think this is a really good in between that still kind of feels like a duty belt but it has some benefits of that battle belt so now let's talk about the inner belt. And the main question I know I'm gonna get is, do you have to have the inner belt to be able to use the belt itself? No, you do not need that. You can throw this on uh, any belt you have. It's just gonna work better with this because it's thin, there's no buckles to get in the way, and it has the Velcro to be able to attach to this to make a better lockup. You can absolutely use this belt without the inner belt. They're not, they don't have to be completely together it's more beneficial to do it. But so far this inner belt has been really nice. I've been wearing this actually just as a belt. So uh, for those of you that are like, well, I, I wanna be able to have the ability to, to throw this on and keep this in my truck. And if I need it, put it on over like my belt. You can use this as a belt if you would like to. And I actually did for a couple of weeks, just use this as my actual belt. Uh, and it works just fine. I mean, it doesn't have the ability to like adjust, like I have a 511 belt and then I use this core essential belt so I can like tighten it and loosen it. Uh, you can do that. You just have to pull it out and move it. It's not as easy to adjust, uh, but you can absolutely run this as a belt if you would like to and that way wherever you're at you have that belt on there and then if you need this to slap it on real quickly you can throw this on and you're good to go don't really know a ton of situations where you're like i absolutely need my battle belt with me wherever i'm at but this is america you can do whatever you want and i think it's cool to be able to uh, have the option so why not i don't think you absolutely need an rpg in your truck but if i had one i'd probably carry it so uh if the ability is there, you might as well. Really, there's not a whole lot to talk about an inner belt. I mean, it's, it's Velcro and it sticks things. I've had a lot of inner belts and they've all worked 
like they should, it holds Velcro. So the only really thing that you're gonna want to know about this is how long it lasts. And that's just gonna be the test of time. I've only had this for a month now, so I really can't give you a ton of information on, okay, yeah, this is great because it's lasted for a long time. Uh, but so far it's sticky and that's what I want it to do. So it, it does that well. So now for options with your belt, again, going back and forth like I always do. Uh, you could change your belt buckle if you want to. You have different options there. Um, and the belt buckles are pretty cool. You can just take it off and slap on a new one. So technically, if you really want it, you can just buy multiple belt buckles if you're that type and want different looks absolutely do that. So you can just unclip it off there and put it on. Uh, so the belt buckles are changeable and then you have multiple different colors on their website. So depending whatever color you want, there's like FDE. I think this, this is the multi-cam, you need black. So you can choose whatever fits your fancy. If you guys are interested in picking one up for yourself, go check out Core Essentials. Uh, again, like I said, they have the EDC belts as well. They have a couple other belts on their website that you guys can try. I've used their EDC belt for a while and I really like it. Uh, it's great for concealed carry because it is really rigid. Uh, the only downfall with that one is sometimes it's too rigid. Like sometimes it's just like, I I don't want my belt to be so tough like all the time wearing a, a battle belt. Uh, but I think that really comes to the fact that I wear this every day for 12 hours and then I get off work and the last thing I want to do is throw another form of this on my body. So uh, a lot of times I just wear shorts or, or sweats uh, just for comfort wise. So I might be biased in that sense in the fact that I just don't love wearing something super rigid on my waist 24 hours a day, uh, just 12. So uh, that could be where that's coming from, but sometimes it is a little too rigid for my taste all the time. But it is, if you're looking for a really solid duty belt for, or a uh, EDC belt for your concealed carry, it does a really good job of that. A question that I got asked on my Instagram when I was posting about this and talking about testing this uh, was would I wear this at work? And the answer is absolutely. I would love to have a belt like this for work that I can adjust. Uh, the sheriff has to approve it and I don't think he's gonna approve this one. But if he would, absolutely would. The sheriffs uh, in our state are a little strict with stuff, with with the rules and things you have to wear. So a lot of the stuff has to match and be a certain color and style. So I don't see that one happening, but if I had the option or they made one that was similar to that was a compliant with uh, the rules of what I could wear, then I absolutely would because uh, on shift, it'd be really nice to be able to like <laughs> take it off completely and then just like slap it on real quick if I have to, or just loosen it enough to where it just was not uncomfortable when I'm sitting in my truck. And then like, I can loosen it while I'm sitting and, and eating my donuts or whatever else I'm doing. Cause that's usually what I'm doing at work is either handling calls or eating and then drizzling some YouTube in there. That's, that's what my job consists of. I'm a pretty busy guy. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this video is able to help you make a better purchase decision to decide if this is a belt that you want or maybe you're gonna pass on it cause it's not exactly what you were looking for. It's always my goal is to help you guys make a better purchase decision and spend your money in the right way. Uh, because I understand it's hard to get money and you want to make the better decision so you don't waste your money or have to spend more money on something else. Uh, so I always wanna help you with that. If you guys are looking to help out the channel, the things I do here, there's a couple ways to do that down in the description. Uh, some discount codes for companies that I trust that you can use to save some money. And there's a link to my link tree that you can use to go to other links uh, and, and buy things. And I appreciate the support, guys. It really does mean a ton. Uh, like, and shout, commenting, and subscribing. Also a big help uh, if you are not subscribed already. Just about to 100,000, which is super exciting. Um, and uh, all those things does help support the channel. And I actually just bought a new mic, which is fantastic because now I don't have cords and wires. It's a wireless. Uh, so usually when I'm filming outside or standing up, either I or my camera person is, is tripping over. So it's really nice to be able to have that. Um, these things are crazy expensive. These was like hundreds of dollars. So hopefully the audio quality is good and hopefully it helps me improve my outdoor content when I'm running around. The only downfall is it's kind of heavy. So like it brings my shirt down, but it is what it is. So the companies that support me and the things I do here are Howitzer, Brown Owls, and uh, Hold Display. Howitzer is a clothing brand that donates 5% of proceeds to charity and they help collaborate with uh, my own t-shirt as well. So you guys can see me and my brother modeling that. If you guys want to pick one up for yourself, it's in the description. That does help support the channel. Brown Owls, you can use code TA10 to save 10% off on orders $150 more. Highly recommend that you take advantage of that because they have pretty much everything on their website. You can save a lot of money doing that, which helps you be able to buy more stuff, which is awesome. Uh, it helps your products be able to move along a little bit quicker. And then Hold Up Display behind me the racks in the vault room absolutely love these guys pick them up from yourself and then guys thank you so much and i appreciate you all